Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter. Welcome back to another episode of Around the Studio where we take a break from normally formatted videos and I just show you what's going on here in the studio. You may remember in a previous video, I talked about this shelf that I built to hold various bins with all kinds of different stuff. Well, I uh, need to build something else because I'm kind of running out of space for all these bins. And I really do love these bins. It allows me to store just a ton of different stuff and keep it nice and organized. My rule is if I'm holding something and I don't know where it goes, I need to find a home for it or else it's just gonna pile up. So I have just a bunch of junk lying around. So I'm gonna see if I can build some more storage for gear. Here in the main shooting space, um, I do a lot of gear storage here. So on this back wall, I've got this monster thing that I need to organize with more of those stinking bins. Um, but recently I put together um, this kind of rack system for holding my cart here, which I use a lot when I travel, and then uh, tripods, flight stands, jibs, stuff like that. And these are really cheap. And what they really are are just a bunch of these J hooks. They're pretty much the cheapest uh, kind of garage storage you can buy at like Lowe's or Home Depot. You can probably find them on Amazon too. I'll see if I can put some links in the description. But I just bought, let's see, two, four, six, eight of these things and I wanna buy a few more. And then I just went ahead and took the top of the hook and just butt it to the bottom of the next one. So um, they just line up really cheap and uh, it's worked really well. So. Um, keeps everything off the floor, which in smaller studios is obviously very valuable. As we head back into this hall area here where I have my uh, workbench and overhead camera set up, I'm going to be talking about this in a separate around the studio or studio video. But I want to talk about a project that I'm starting. And I'm going to be calling this the GHC100. And uh, I'm essentially going to take a GH4 and hack the crap out of it until I can get it as close to a C100 as possible. So you can see on this one here, the top actually pops off. And I've already modded this pretty heavily. So I'm going to be building a top handle system similar to the C100 on top of the GH4. So it'll have a top handle that'll be removable. And I'm hoping I can do two XLRs with built-in preamps and knobs to adjust the levels as well as phantom power. So I'm not super good at electronics, but I'm gonna do my best to make that happen. You may have also noticed that um, something looks a little different on this unit right here. Those of you familiar with the GH4 are probably very familiar with uh, a big problem with this camera, and that is if you plug in headphones, you can't turn the screen. And 90% um, of the time, I want the screen about at that level, which isn't possible when you have fed headphones. So you may have noticed right here, I have added a headphone jack. So now I can completely articulate the screen however I want. And um, it has been working really well. So I'll be doing a video series on this new project and you guys will be able to see you know, how I did all this stuff. But essentially, for those who may be wondering, um, this area right here, I didn't drill a hole or anything. That is actually a port for using with flashes and other accessories. So you would put a flash on top of the camera and plug it in here or something like that. So I just unscrewed the plastic cap here and opened up the whole body, which is crazy. And then uh, popped that out and redirected the headphone jack up to this area here. Nice out of the way, um, camera still works great, so I can't wait to show you guys more about that and uh, see how we can get better audio on this camera. So that does it for this episode of Around the Studio. Make sure you subscribe and you'll see these Around the Studio episodes as well as my standard videos. Thank you so much again for watching and I'll see you guys next time. That's it.